Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the 404 page or the error page of a Blogger website. So this is the design that we're going to add in our Blogger website for the 404 page. Now this is a simple design. You can use your creativity and uh, create an awesome 404 page. But I'm just showing you so that uh, you know how to do it. So now if you go to our website and uh, let's add a random URL over here. And uh, now if I press enter, we can see it says a message that sorry, the page you were looking for for in this blog does not exist. So right now, this is the 404 page of our blogger website. And then we also have these popular posts over here. So now we're going to change this message to this whole page over here. And then we'll also get rid of this popular post over here. All right, so let's get started. Now, as always, we will start by designing in VS Code. And then we'll copy the code to our Blogger website. So I have a project opened over here called Custom 404. And in that I have an images folder where I have this uh, image. So let's go ahead and start by creating an HTML file and uh, a style.css file. Now in VS Code you can just type exclamation point and press tab and you have this basic HTML5 code. And uh, let's link our CSS file over here. Now here we will start by creating a division with a class of custom 404. And in that we'll create a division for the image and we will just type img images slash 404.png and then we'll have another division for the text content. So we'll type custom 404 content. So here we'll just create two paragraphs for uh, these two lines of code. So I'll type P and I'll just copy this message from here. And one more paragraph. And I will just copy this from here. Now the word here and uh, home page should have a link to the home page. So let's copy the link of the home page. And I will create an anchor tag over here. And we'll just paste the link in the href. And uh, then move this ending tag after the word. And you can do the same over here as well. Alright, that's with our uh, markup. Let's go ahead and open this in our browser. So we can see our image is being displayed and uh, the two paragraphs are being displayed over here as well. So now let's go ahead and style it. So we'll go to style.css and first of all we will change the width of the image. So we'll type custom 404 img and uh, we'll set the width of the image to 70%. Now we need to center everything horizontally. So let's go ahead and uh, target the custom 404 class. And uh, we'll just set the display to flex and align items to center, flex direction to column. And we'll also text align everything to the center. We'll also set the font family to Roboto. Now let's target the custom 404 content division. So I'll type custom 404 custom 404 dash content and uh, we'll give a background color of dark gray and we'll set a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and uh, 48 pixels left and right and uh, we'll also set the color of the text to light gray and uh, we'll also give a border radius of 10 pixels and uh, let's also change the color of the anchor tags so I'll tap custom 404, custom 404 content and A and we'll set the color to light gray. All right, so now let's add this design to our blogger website. So first of all, let's go ahead and copy the HTML. We'll just copy this custom 404 division from here and uh, then we'll go to the dashboard and then you have to go to settings and then scroll down and uh, look for custom 404. So open it and paste your HTML code over here. 
Now one thing we need to change over here is the image src. So right now it is set to images slash 404.png. Now we need to upload the image to our blogger website and uh, replace the src with the link of that image. So let's save this for now. And for uploading the image, we'll go to pages and create a new page. Or we'll just use uh, the existing page. And I'll just delete this image. And let's go ahead and click on this uh, button called insert image and then click on upload from computer and then click on choose files. So this is our project. Let's go to images and select this file. And then click on it and click on uh, select. Now to get the link of uh, this image, we have to go to the HTML view. So click on this button and then click on HTML view and then copy the href from here. And we'll paste it in our custom 404 code. So let's go back and uh, let's go to settings and uh, then open custom 404. And instead of this SRC, we will just update it with the current link. All right, so now let's go ahead and save this. Now the next thing we need to do is add the styling. So let's go to theme and then click on customize. Now click on advanced and then click on this first drop down and select add CSS. Now let's go to our source code and uh, we'll copy the CSS from here and uh, we'll paste it over here. And then just click on save. So our styling has been applied. Now let's go ahead and uh, reload this uh, custom 404 page. So now we can see our custom 404 design is being displayed. We have uh, the image and this message over here and when we click on uh, these links we get taken to the home page now if you scroll down we can see we have the popular post displayed over here now you can keep it if you want but uh, i'll show you how to disable it from the 404 page so let's go to theme and uh, click on this uh, options button and click on edit html now we have to search for a widget called popular posts so click on this button called jump to widget and then search for popular posts. So here we can see popular posts one is being displayed. Let's select that. And uh, this is the code for popular posts. So let's scroll down and see where the popular posts are being displayed. And this is the line of code which displays the popular posts. So let's add an if condition over here. To add an if condition in blogger you have to type less than b colon if and then COND for condition and then here you can type data colon blog dot page type and if that is not equal to the error page so we will type exclamation equals which says that it is not equal and then here we will type error underscore page and then we will close the single quotes and then type greater than symbol over here and we will end the if condition after this line of code so here we will type less than forward slash b colon if so now this line of code will be executed only when it is not the error page so let's save it and see whether it works so let's go to our website and let's refresh our page and we can see the 404 design is being displayed and the popular posts are not being displayed now if you go to any other page the popular post will be displayed so let's open this uh, post and we can see the popular posts are being displayed over here so that's basically how you customize the 404 page or the error page in your blogger website so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day